Hiroshima bomb produced an explosion of 15 kilotons, or 15,000 tons worth of TNT. The bomb dropped on Nagasaki had an explosion of 21 kilotons, but how much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? The answer is, terrifyingly, much, much bigger. The largest nuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal is the B-83, which can produce a blast of 1.2 megatons. To understand the scale from here out, one megaton is equal to one million tons of TNT, and that is equal to 1,000 kilotons. Remember that the Hiroshima blast was just 15 kilotons, so that means that the B-83 produces a blast 80 times more powerful than that. What I've been showing on this scale is only the size of the mushroom cloud that the bombs produced. So to further add to the scale, we're going to place the size of Mount Everest here, and the average altitude of a commercial airliner that you would normally fly on here. So, the Castle Bravo bomb is the largest nuclear weapon ever tested by the United States. It produced a blast of 15 megatons, or about 1,000 times the scale of Hiroshima. But even that pales in comparison to the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. In October 1961, the Soviet Union created the largest man-made explosion ever in human history when they detonated this device, known as the Tsar Bomba, here over this territory known as Novaya Zemlya. The bomb detonated with an astounding force of 50 megatons or about 3,333 Hiroshima blasts. It was so powerful that it almost destroyed the plane that dropped it, shattered windows as far away as Norway and Finland, and the shock waves created by the bomb circled around the entire Earth three times. But this test was actually just a scaled-down version of what was theoretically possible. Although never tested, the Soviets did have plans to create a bomb that would be twice as powerful as even the Tsar Bomba, a bomb so powerful that it would have produced a mind-boggling 100 megaton blast, or about 6,666 Hiroshima blasts altogether. To get another sense of scale, let's imagine that Times Square in New York City would be the epicenter of these blasts. You can test this stuff out yourself on the website NukeMap after watching this video. I'll provide a link for it after the end, but let's see the results first. First off, we're going to show the size of this detonation, which was caused by the recent North Korean test in 2013. Following this, here is the size of the Hiroshima detonation, which isn't really that much bigger, but let's move on to the B-83 bomb that we were talking about. As you can see, it would affect a much larger area than the Hiroshima bomb, but moving on past that to the Castle Bravo test, we can see how it truly dwarfs everything before it. But even that blast is incredibly tiny when we move on towards the Tsar Bomba as seen here. And then finally for our scale, we move on to how large the blast from the theoretical 100 megaton version of the Tsar Bomba would be. The blast would be so powerful, this is what the blast radius would look like if you were observing it from the International Space Station. 